Hello guys. What's up everyone? It's me, back at it again. So I basically am gonna go today to get an ear piercing with my best friend Catherine, and then I am going to Miami. I have a show, so I figured I'd make a little vlog because I need to pick out my outfits and I'm alone and I'm not hang out. So you guys are gonna hang out with me. It is two o'clock. My flight is at 9.20 and I need to get ready. I meet Catherine, get an ear piercing. Then I need to pack, pick out my outfits, etc., and go to the airport. I don't really feel the need to get ready since I'm gonna be wearing a mask, but my lips under the mask get so dry and my skin gets so dry, so I've been making sure to really moisturize. And I'm about to do some little lip treatments. The last thing I want is to get any wrinkles on my lips, especially because I'm always drinking water, which is a great thing, but you know. Anyways, so we have here today's sponsor and literally my favorite part of my routine. Greatest lips of all time, the Glip Collection. You guys know I've been using this stuff for months and months ever since I shot the campaign. I'm literally on my, my third and fourth bottles of each different thing. I'm gonna do the lip scrub because I haven't done it this week yet. So I like to do it like once or twice a week to keep my lips exfoliated and fresh. This is the Gloat Lip Scrub. Sexy, soft lip scrub. It's peppermint and hyaluronic acid. Acid. I'm obsessed with it. I wanted to show you guys. This is my favorite. It's so satisfying. Literally just like, yes. Just so satisfying to me. And then you scrub it. And it's so like minty and fresh and hydrating. Already getting some color and plumpness into my lips. So I feel like once you exfoliate, your lips are ready to be plumped with serum. Next, we're taking the lip plumping serum. I literally use this every single day. I just love it. So you just throw it in and you'll feel it start to work. I like to get it on the edges to really plump the edges as well. I just love honestly applying things to my lips. Me and Cindy were talking about how <laughs> whenever we first met, we were talking about how we would just like sit there and put on chapstick, lip balm for literally like five minutes straight <laughs> until someone noticed what we were doing, just like this. I don't know why. So I like to let it set in and kind of like dry a little, really get all the plumping action. And then we have the luscious lip butter. This stuff is so satisfying every time I open a new one. This one even more than the other one because it's like this whipped consistency but this one's peppermint and hyaluronic acid as well also by the way all vegan cruelty free shebang. so let's just and this one i'll just like use throughout the day if i'm not wearing lipstick or anything like that and i'll just keep it moisturized especially in la it's so dry you need to keep your lips moisturized because you don't want get any lines or any splitting of the lips, letting in bacteria. Next, we have big juicy lip oil. This, sometimes I will just literally apply this, but other times I'll put it on top. This one is coconut and hyaluronic acid. I just love coconut, it's my favorite. All right, guys, again, that is truly beauty. The Gloat Kit, this is greatest lips of all time. Check it out. Honestly, genuinely love, use every day. Now, since my lips are moisturized, I'm ready to go, because I'm wearing a mask. All right, I need to figure out what to wear, so let's pick my outfit. All right guys, so my room is literally a complete disaster right now as we speak because I'm leaving for Miami, like I said, and then Fashion Week. So I'm trying to pack for both climates and also like all my events, my all my stuff I have to do. I couldn't find anything while I was packing and that's due to the fact that my closet looks like a tornado, literally Frank Ocean said it best, flew around my room before you came. I couldn't find anything in my closet, so I decided instead of freaking out on myself because it's only my fault, I just was like, you know what, I'm gonna get it together. So I went through my closet, all these, bags of clothes here that I'm getting rid of and I've freed up a lot of space in my closet so that I can get organized appropriately. Also, in other news, my cat peed in my suitcase. That is another obstacle we have to overcome today. So I'm gonna get dressed. Let's see what will I wear. All right, so I'm gonna leave, I think. Let me see. Catherine texts me. Oh, she texts me and she said, your niece started school today. They grew up so fast. So me and Catherine, as a lot of you know, you used to live together. We were roommates, best friends for almost 10 years now. And this is radiating the energy of when we used to like do stuff like this all the time when we lived together. So we're gonna meet her and I don't know what ear piercing I'm gonna get yet. These are the ones I have now and I'm gonna get another one. So let's look and see. Let's see on Pinterest what ear piercing I should get. Honestly, I haven't gotten a piercing in so long, although I've had a lot of piercings. I can rate them for you guys on which ones hurt the worst. All right. so. Basically Basically, this is the tragus here. So this one didn't really hurt that bad. Honestly, it just felt 
like pressure and so I was thinking about getting that on the side but the problem is it's hard with AirPods and stuff like sometimes it makes them fall out when I got this there was no AirPods obviously this one I don't know that's a baby second hole I pierced this myself this one hurt but not the worst this one not too bad still hurt a little bit also when you're sleeping irritating this side this one I feel like same as cartilage but less irritating when you're sleeping I don't know why I think it's just the hearing it has in it and the position of the ear I have cartilage on the side as well but I think it might be closed this one it hurt a lot but the lower one hurt worse so I had like one two three lower one hurt the worst most painful to least painful lower tire I also had nose that hurt but I pierced it myself I don't know it was one of those kids anyway so those are the piercings I have now and I wanted to see which one I should get so far what I'm kind of thinking is either to get a third hole on both sides or maybe just on one side just because I think getting double piercings is hard when you're sleeping because you will like roll back and forth and you'll be irritated so I kind of like to do one at a time I don't know if you guys have seen I used to always do different earring arrangements on my ears and take pictures so basically you're throwing it back bringing it back and I'm thinking honestly I want a third hole I just don't know which side so either cartilage on this side or a third hole on this side I kind of like how that track is in the little diamond in the front. They're close to each other. I think that's cute. Anyways, this is why I'm so indecisive because there's literally like so many options. So this is like originally what I was trying to get, but then like I could only keep one of them because they were gonna infect it because they were so close to each other. I'm just kind of one of the people that waits the last minute and wings it because I like to feel the vibe out and just kind of see it's because I'm an air sign, think on my toes. So I'm just gonna kind of like keep those ideas, let them marinate. And then once we get there, I'll decide when I'm literally in the piercing chair. All right, you guys, I know I said I wasn't gonna put any makeup on, but you know, hot people don't leave the house without blush, even if no one's gonna see it. Here are my shades for the day and I'm heading to the ear piercing place, playing a little playlist. I'll put it in the description for you guys. So I've been decided on my ear piercing. Yeah, I'm just winging it. I'm gonna do this and then I still have to pack and I don't have a lot of time, but I work well under pressure. So I was just thinking to myself, like I haven't gotten a piercing in so long. The last time I got one was actually also with a friend and it was this cartilage one that must have been like four or five years ago and I'm kind of nervous and I don't really get nervous often so but I guess I've had like a traumatic experience one time my belly button ring rejected because they didn't pierce it correctly so I had to get it redone and that was just kind of like not it for me back with my bestie <laughs> Yes. Do you know what you're gonna get yet? Okay, let me think. So I'm gonna do two earlobes. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about to get our ears pierced. So Catherine's gonna do a cluster. So Chantal was like, is that a real piercing there? This one is a conch piercing. And then I have like this little chain to give it an illusion that it's like a hoop, but yeah. it's not a hoop. Yeah, so she wants me to do that one. All right, so here's the piercing jewelry and I'm kind of liking this little star maybe. Or I like little eye, I like little leaf. I think I already have a lanyard. Well, if not, I'm gonna get that, but I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nervous? <laughs> I did this like a couple weeks ago, so I'm kind of already like. I feel like I'm on a roll. Yes. And the lobe is so cute. And I haven't done it in so long, so. Like six years. I know. <laughs> uh, making the mark. I'm getting nervous, guys. You know I'm nervous. All right, guys, it's my turn now. I'm just doing. I'm doing my third hole, and I'm gonna put a new diamond in there. Now I'm gonna have matching new side. Yay! Here we go. I think it's perfect. Yeah, I think so too. Good placement. Here we go. Perfect. All right, guys. It looks beautiful. Show them yours. Yeah, it looks good. Show them yours. Mine. Hers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys, so I'm here packing. I just did all my laundry I'm getting my outfits together for Miami and for New York So I'm trying to like make sure I got all my bases covered I also have like packages of clothes meeting me at my hotels in designated areas So I have to leave space enough allocated space for that stuff as well This is my one suitcase So I just have like some dresses bathing suits really colorful stuff that I'm gonna wear in Miami And then I have my jewelry here some cute shoes. I got the new and Emirata heels that are super cute. 
So I'm still packing this one and then I also have all these clothes going into this one. And there's just like so many things. I'll show you guys some cool things I'm bringing with me. So I have these little light sticks that I'm bringing with me because sometimes in hotels, the lighting situation is not ideal when I'm trying to get ready and I can't see my makeup properly. So let me show you guys how they work. All right, so this is how I look now. And then basically you just charge them with USBs and then, so then you just suction cup them onto the mirror. Loves it. You can do your little self-care and beauty routine with these. Anyways, now I need to finish packing and pick my plane outfit, which is pretty much the hardest thing for me to do because I'm so indecisive as we know. All right guys, we're packed and ready to go. Off to Miami.